Hello good people of the internet, if you have searched for DIY software for virtual staging, you might want to watch this video till the end. I'm showing you how you can stage your room in a two different applications and their pros and cons. And without further ado, let's move on. I found this software by looking at Google for DIY softwares and they seem to be from a long time on the market offering virtual staging. After I created and logged into my account, upload my picture, had to prepay for the service and immediately started to work. The web interface was something I would expect from a web-based software, neat and without much options, made for easy use. Although something started to bother me when I was calibrating, that's how they call perspective match, and I cannot really zoom into the picture and I cannot really see what I am doing with high precision despite me being on a 4K screen. But uh, that didn't bother me so I carried on. The next step I'm picking furniture in the course amongst what it looks like a few hundred pieces. Obviously they've used pre-baked models with shadows which is one of the drawbacks to this method. Nothing looks realistic and shadows are a bit more con con contrasty and dark to my taste. Additionally there is no option to extract or add additional lighting onto the image. The placing of the furniture seems to be easy but a bit clunky and the, the big blue and red bounding boxes are where always obstructing what I see and do. Something else I've found is that I cannot really add or change anything from the decors and the furniture, therefore they, they are either in groups or single pieces. Most of the designs are more traditional with few pieces resembling a contemporary style. A big plus is that everything is organized in categories which made me find what I need very quick. After few minutes I ended up with an image which was ok for the price I've paid but it was not clear to me if this going to work listed along with thousands of properties on the portals, although it might look like 1995-ish. On top of everything, there is something wrong with my dining table which I couldn't find how to resolve. It doesn't matter really, this is just a pure uh, comparison. And now let's move on to the second method of virtual staging with 3ds Max and Corona. Five minutes later. And now I'm in my 3ds Max viewport and I've loaded the same image and I've even kept their stamp. In this software for virtual staging you will need to know a bit more about the software design and few other things which makes things a bit more complicated if all you need is to achieve a quick virtual staging that not <laughs> which it's, it might not work for, for and do its purpose. <laughs> and if you have watched any of my other videos for on virtual staging on this channel by now you should be familiar with what I'm doing, why I'm doing it right now on the screen. The main benefits of virtual staging software with 3ds Max is its realism and flexibility. Definitely, if you have crafted the skill of virtual staging, which you can do by watching all of, the, all of those videos on my channel, you will produce a really good quality images with viable designs which will attract buyers of the property you are virtually staging. How cool is that? Generally, to succeed in this virtual staging method with 3ds Max, all you have to do is to follow my 6 rules of virtual staging video link down below. The 6 steps are lining, modeling, lighting, design, materials and post-production. They are well explained in the video below. Overall, it took me twice the time to stage this room, which is a lot in comparison to what it was with the web-based application. And keep in mind, I'm doing this for many years so far, so I imagine someone with zero knowledge might not be able to do it at all. This is one time, actually this is one of the drawbacks to this method. Additionally, you have to pay to the license of the software, which is the second drawback, but the cons are really a lot. Luckily I have another video on my channel where you can watch how to do it almost for free and it will be quicker. At the end, what I wanted to achieve with the scene is to resemble the web-based virtual staging application, so we can compare more or less the both images. But as you can see on the time lapse, I, I was really picky and I took the time to adjust all the cores to my liking as if I was doing virtual staging for a real project. If I got you thinking that you might try to learn virtual staging, why not by the way, I would encourage you to try it because it's really not a trick, especially with my workflow where I try to explain all of the steps in a condensed videos. And of course, if you have any questions for both softwares or you want to share something with us, please leave a comment. We have a really small but really tight 
community here of, of virtual stagers. And right now I'm in the end of the virtual staging with 3ds Max method and I'm about to render the final images. And here are the two methods side by side to compare. On the left is the virtual staging software web-based application and on the right is the method with 3ds Max for virtual staging. And let me know what you think about each method in the comments below and of course if you like the video click subscribe, share it with your friends and see you next time. Ciao!